Greetings my friends and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to share this audio technica ATLP1240 USB. This is a direct drive turntable, 120 volts turntable. The problem of this unit is accidentally plugged in 220 volts. Now I'm going to plug this unit in a 110 volts step down transformer. Oops, as you can see the platter moves a little. 45, 33, it won't spin. Now let's check the inside part. And these are the components inside, mostly IC. This is IC controlled since this is a direct drive turntable. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to check first the power supply from here up to this point, then to this point here. I found only two busted regulator IC this one and this one but I decided to replace all regulator IC I'm going to share the output voltage of the new regulator IC and the old regulator IC now let's check first this 7824 regulator IC pin configuration is in ground out input positive ground negative output positive and I'm going to connect here a 36 volts and we expect the output more or less 24 volts. Now let's start with the busted component or the suspected component. Input voltage is 36. Output 0. This is busted 7824. Now for our new component. Input 35 volts. Output 24 volts so we have output 24 volts compared to the busted one this is zero output now let's test the 7915 the 7815 is good 79 i suspected this one and the pin configuration is ground in out the ground here is positive input negative output negative since this is 7915 regulator ic we expect output voltage negative 15 this is my input 35 volts my output 35 volts it means my regulator ic the output is not regulated now let's compare my new regulator ic this is 7915 my input 34.9 or 35 volts my output 15 volts my busted 7915 output voltage 35 volts so not regulated but now i have 15 volts output
Now, as you can see here, before I put this one in the circuit board, I put here a plastic washer and a mica insulator because this is a 2915 and this one is a 2815. And the tab here is different. The tab here is connected to pin number two and this is input. The tab here is connected to pin number two and this is the ground. And this is configured in split supply. And as you can see here, the original, it has this kind of tab. And if you test this one, this is not connected to the pin number two. That's why I put this washer and a mica insulator. And about this one here, this is now new and this is 7812 and 7805 and the tab here are both the same so no need for the insulator or the mica insulator. And the driver transistor, this one, this one and this one, they are all good. If you saw the first part of the video, I test this one first. And these are the regulators, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 5 and 6 This is 33 45 reverse quartz lock of Start and stop. Start and stop. And that's all. How to troubleshoot, repair a turntable accidentally plugged in 220 volts. Hope this video helps and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.